we see in this week's parasha and parasha's emmer, the Torah tells us that we cannot make a chidol Hashem and we should make a kiddush Hashem. Now it's a little hard to understand why does the Pasuk have to say both sides? That you should not make a chidol Hashem and you should make a kiddush Hashem. Well, automatically if someone makes a kiddush Hashem, he avoids not making a chidol Hashem. In the other way also, a person makes sure not to make a chidol Hashem, automatically that is a kiddush Hashem. So why does the Pasuk have to tell us both ways? One should be enough. Well, it must be that sometimes one is not enough. Sometimes, by you thinking you're making a Kiddush Hashem, can turn out to be the biggest Chil Hashem. Let's take, for instance, now, a lot of people are going to Eretz Yisrael for like Bo'ema to Meron. So on the way in the airplane, it comes the time to Dama Shachras. Naturally, it's a Kiddush Hashem. You stand up, you take out the towels, you fill in. You prepare yourself, make yourself ready, and you start davening. Well, that's a beautiful Kiddush Hashem. But keep in mind to avoid the Chil Hashem, which could come out from this Kiddush Hashem. And that's what the Pasuk is telling us. Now, a lot of times, it could be for a guy on the airplane, the first time, or even a Frayi, the first time he experiences to see Yidin together davening Shachris, Mencha Mayrev. So make it in a very respectful way that people should look up and say, Wow, those are real Yidin. This is beautiful. They stand up nicely. They daven beautifully. And this is making a Kiddush Hashem and avoiding a Chel Hashem. Keep that in mind.